guys. I'm so excited. Last night, um, at about 3 a.m., I woke up because I was having really bad, like, cramping, but it kind of felt like it was gas. So I went to the bathroom to see if, you know, I could poop, TMI, and nothing happened, and I just, it just kind of went away, and so I was like, okay. So I laid back down, and then a couple minutes later, the same thing happened. So I woke back up and went back to the bathroom nothing the same thing happened again and then this kept happening all night like i did not sleep at all because i was cramping i had some weird pains at like 4 30 in the morning i woke up and i had some blood um i went to the bathroom to pee and then when i wiped i had blood and then there was blood in the toilet but it wasn't it wasn't very noticeable at all at all so i thought Maybe this is just my imagination. Maybe I'm like seeing things, I don't know. I woke up again at 7.30 to take my sister to school and I went to the bathroom again and there was definitely more blood this time. So I think I might have lost my mucus plug and I'm hoping that that's it or maybe this is like the bloody show or something. But I'm very, very excited because today might be the day that my baby gets here. I'm like, 80% sure that this is labor um, I'm still having pains I guess they're contractions but they're not very strong or consistent so I don't know I'm gonna call my doctor and see what they say it's 207 it's 207 p.m. and nothing I mean I'm, I'm having contractions but they're not consistent at all still so I don't know 3.48 Still no sign of baby But I'm having contractions But like Hi <laughs> That's my niece So right now She is two centimeters dilated And she's <laughs> No but for real we've been laying here For a while now and Yeah <laughs> She's been going through a lot of pain, having a lot of contractions, like, consistently, and... Um, I don't know. I'm just waiting for them to be, like, like, to the point where I can't breathe through them, so that we can go to the hospital. Because I don't want to go and then be sent to home. back, yeah. He's moving a lot. He's very active. He is. Every time oh my I look God. at myself in the camera, <laughs> I look so huge. I'm like, <laughs> he looks bigger than both of us. <laughs> <laughs> he looks bigger than both of us. I look bigger than both of us. No, you still look miniature because look. Yeah, finally You're something bigger small. than my head. <laughs> I'm exhausted, you guys, and I can't sleep because it hurts a lot. I couldn't sleep last night, um, and it wasn't hurting as bad as this so I can't even imagine how bad tonight's gonna be but I'm ready I'm so ready are you ready I'm ready <laughs> right now it's what 1.41 and Jill just woke up with she's been having lots of contractions like really rapidly and they've been really long so we're about to go to the hospital I just took a quick shower and I've been having intense contractions so we're going to the hospital they're less than 5 minutes apart now and they are lasting like 40 seconds so We'll see what they say. Hopefully this is it. Hello. <laughs> He's having contractions? Alright. One small prick, okay? So that moves. Okay. 
contraction. Try to breathe, focus on the breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice and deep breaths. Okay. There you go, baby. So the baby gets oxygen. If you hold your breath, then the baby is not getting oxygen, you know? Good job. I'm going to put some more tapes in this. Dead. <laughs> Your eyes are doing that glare thing. Where? Stop it. That was weird. She just got she the got epidural. epidural. I can't feel my legs. She can't feel her legs. But I can't feel the contractions either. So. I guess that's good. And I'm four centimeters. You just had a contraction. Did you feel it at all? Like, like you really just had a big <laughs> contraction right here. You just didn't feel it on camera. <laughs> You went from two to four quick. Like that was really fast. Oh my god, it's five o'clock already. Four fifty. It's four fifty, right? You gotta keep the times exact. And we're going to sleep now. Yes. So when is my juice? So yeah. Put an oxygen mask on me. I don't know if they can hear me. I don't know either. But they put an oxygen mask on her. So the baby to help the baby breathe. To help the baby breathe and to help him move so he won't fall asleep. Yeah. And you're not feeling that right now? No, I'm having contractions back to back and I can't feel it, but She's having a contraction right um, now. <laughs> I was having like anxiety because I can't feel my legs. Oh yeah. It's now eight thirty. Yeah. It's eight thirty eight. I was like planning like this whole time. I was like when I go into labor I like do my makeup and do my hair. I don't care right now. I don't care about anything. That's what I said earlier. Like I told you that that would but happen. It's so crazy though that we're leaving the hospital with a baby. Yeah, like our own baby. Contractions are painful, <laughs> but honestly, they're not as painful as I thought they were gonna be. Oh boy. Like. I rated it a 7, and I thought it was going to get worse, and it was horrible, it was horrible, don't get me wrong, but they're not as painful as I thought they were going to be, I don't know. Okay, so update, they just broke her water, it is like 10 something, but they just broke her water, and it's not what I expected at all. <laughs> I just came home. I want I just everybody came to know that my mom is making me do this because she called me ugly. <laughs> now you're going to do my makeup? Sure. <laughs> you're such a bad assistant. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1.20. They came and checked me. And I'm still 5 centimeters dilated. I don't know if I mentioned that I was five centimeters dilated. Um, Last did, time, I don't know. I don't know, but I've been five centimeters <laughs> for a while, for a couple yeah. of hours, and it hasn't changed. They said that um, his um, that my water has meconium in it, so, and that's dangerous. So he's giving me one more hour and see if I make any progress. And if not, then he said we'll talk. So I'm a little bit scared, but. I'm hoping for the best. They told us that we have to have a C-section. Um, because the baby's heart rate was dropping. But we'll give details later.
congratulations. It really looks fantastic, eh? Okay, you had a little bit of around the neck, but everything is fine, okay? Which is great. Finally over. You know, you're not pregnant anymore. That's weird saying that. Put it back. <laughs>